All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> my name is Sam. Okay, uh, just a quick introduction um, to our academy. Uh, just in case you're out there and you, you know, you have little or no interest in, in programming, most especially for blockchain, I would really, um, you know, love to say one or two things, right? You know, I've known about programming and of course I can, you know, do one or two programming here and there. But uh, maybe you're watching this video and then you have younger ones, right, that, that have interest in programming. I would really urge you to let them go into blockchain programming because, okay, let's, let, I think I did a search. An average blockchain programmer earns around $180,000 in a year. Roughly one third of all blockchain developers earn more than $180,000 per year. And, and the beautiful thing about blockchain programming is that it's, it's not restricted to to your country. It is borderless, right? You can you can be in uh, in Zambia and doing a job for someone in Mexico. You can be in Mexico doing a job for someone in Nigeria. You can be in Nigeria doing a job for someone in, in the United States, right? So, and then we have a course right here. This course is really, really undervalued. Where we'll teach you how to... Um, how to start blockchain programming from scratch from the very very beginning this is the course right here from the very scratch right uh till you become a pro and you'll be able to deploy smart contracts on about six to seven different blockchains right uh on on bnb on ethereum on eos and and the rest of course bnb is a binance smart chain all right guys and if you want to learn how to trade right this is the course you have to take uh, you want to learn how to become a hedge fund manager. This is the course to take right here. And um, if you want to understand the basis of cryptocurrency, how to know which different cryptocurrencies to buy, make sure you go through this course. All right, let's uh, go straight to the news we have today. So new Alpha Romeo, Romeo SUVs uses NFT and blockchain to track uh, car records. So, uh, in other words, you know how, you know how we say, right? And I'm sure that that is what it is. That blockchain keeps records uh, of data, and those data cannot be um, easily manipulated. So, this new this this car company are putting their their car records and vehicle data on a blockchain. Now, let me read this quote. Upon customers' consent, the NFT will record the vehicle data generated a certificate that can be used as a guarantee of the car's overall status with a positive impact of its residual value, right? So I, I know some, some people, if they want to go sell their cars, right, they'll have to change the amount of miles, miles the car has covered, you know, so, so it will look as if the car is still brand new. But if it's recorded on the blockchain, it will be it will be it will become harder <laughs> to change those records, right? So that's just one of the advantage. Moving on, Ave launches Web three social media platform Lens Protocol. So um, there's been a buzz within the last couple of years about uh, blockchain based social media. Now the the biggest problem that blockchain based social media are facing is the fact that they are built on a blockchain number one. And number two, okay, they may not make that as number one because that's why they call blockchain-based social media. Number one is that most of the blockchains that they are building this this uh, DApps or, or social networks on have fees. So imagine trying to like a post and then you pay you pay a fee. You know, someone someone maybe replies to your video, your content on the blockchain-based social media. They have to pay a fee for every comment they make, and that is a problem. And I've been saying this for. For years that hey that the blockchain of the future will not have transaction fees for every transaction i've been saying that for years go to my facebook go to my old posts the posts i'm making since 2017 you'll see the post there and that's going to be the trend in the next three to five years right right now no one is thinking about that right now because you know a lot of people are focused on ethereum uh, meanwhile, you know, the problems Ethereum is facing or the problem Ethereum, Ethereum is facing over the years have been solved by other blockchains. But because Ethereum has first mover advantage, 
people are not noticing what other blockchains are doing. But pending when they do, let's move on. So Abbey will, will empower content creators to own their digital roots and calls for a, a more suitable smart contract based social experience. So I want to read this quote right here. It says, we wanted to build a social media protocol or essentially a social graph and make those profiles on chain, putting relationship, relationships on chain and creating a permissionless way to distribute. Anyways, they are not doing anything new because uh, we've had blockchain based social media for years i think the, the first ever uh blockchain based social media was steam or steam it built on the steam blockchain and steam it has been forked to hive we've, we've done a video about that make sure you check it out moving on tennessee lawmaker introduces bill which uh, would allow states to invest in crypto now you guys don't know how big this is several years ago when we started crypto we just had you know graduate from from universities uh, some private investors you know talking about crypto now we have states government we have countries and presidents that are personally pushing bitcoin when we had just students you know talking about crypto and maybe small average university dropout and investors talking about crypto the price of bit of crypto was between 200 to maximum of $20,000. Now we have countries, presidents, and states talking about crypto. What do you think the price would be? I'm expecting Bitcoin to hit nothing less than $100,000 in the next couple of months. To be honest, I actually was expecting it by the end of last year, but it's definitely going to happen. Right? So more laws like this to come. So I, I saw this news about McDonald's. It didn't really make sense to me but of course which is a news so mcdonald's files trademarks for mac metaverse restaurants that deliver right so but the fast food company has now embraced the metaverse uh we've seen big 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 companies and big brands come into crypto and i wonder how someone's going to eat food on the metaverse anyways but i know it's going to be for ordering of food let's go now this other news is so big blackrock expected to offer crypto trading as three arrows exec says long Bitcoin ETH in 2022. BlackRock is a gigantic, very big company uh, in the United States and um, they're now into crypto. That's the summary of the news. They're now into crypto and this is an amazing news in general for crypto. Uh, so moving on. So Fitch lowers El Salvador's rating due to Bitcoin adoption. Um, this news is not surprising because, <clears throat> sorry, it's not surprising because, you know, the, the global elite, the guys running the whole uh, economic system in the world, right? They are against Bitcoin and cryptocurrency because Bitcoin and cryptocurrency gives Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency. So if I say Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, it looks as if I'm talking about two different things. Anyways, they are against cryptocurrencies because cryptocurrencies give people freedom of owning their money and less manipulation from the government. And of course, El Salvador going against their ruling and against their ways of doing things, I don't expect a good ratings. So that's not a news that should excite me. Moving on, I saw this news yesterday and I was asking myself, well, okay, let me just read. Exchange stable coins reserve hit $22 billion as Bitcoin rises toward 50k fair value. So, um, exchange here means exchanges, where um, digital platforms where people go to change um, maybe their Bitcoin to Ethereum, their Bitcoin to USDT, and blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to read it. Most stable coins find their way to exchanges than ever before where they will be deployed. Now, okay, the question is where they will be deployed next. Now, when I see uh, stuff like this, I usually don't let it freak me because it could just be another way to manipulate the market because when we have more stable coins going into exchanges, it means people want to buy. People want to buy the, the dip. So the more money comes into exchanges, the more they buy. But it might just be a way for, for these guys to let you know that, hey, more money is going to exchanges and people are going to buy. And then when you try to long, they shot and then you lose. So don't let emotions. And of course, if you want to learn how to trade, we have a course. 
My United onboards Tezos as its official Web3 and training kit partner. I don't know if you guys have, 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 have been noticing. Within the last five to six months, we've seen big exchanges and platforms sponsor major non-crypto events around the world. It's going to be the trend within the next couple of years, as I always say. US Network Foundation reveals plans to pursue a 4.1 billion lo um, lawsuit against Block One. So I'll just give you the story, right? So several years ago, <coughs> a company blo called Block One, right, hired Dan Larema, who is one of the smartest person in the crypto world. In fact, Dan Larema was the person that predicted that Ethereum and Bitcoin will be slow in the future. Anyways, so they hired Dan Larema and you know, people people around the world knows how smart Dan Larima was and is, right? So because of that, because of the fact that they hired Dan Larima and what he has done, I told you about the, the first ever blockchain social media. It was built by Dan Larima, Dan Larima. Now, today, everybody's saying the word DeFi. The first DeFi was built by Dan Larima. Now, everyone is talking about DAO. The first DAO was coined by Dan Larima. Everybody's talking about... Anyways, let's move. Let's move on. So they hired the guy Dan Larima, and people were like, "Hey, this guy is so smart, and he's been hired by Block One, and Block One was trying to raise money." So because of Dan Larima, a lot of people pumped in money into Block One, and they pumped in four point one billion dollars. So Block One actually made a promise that that they are going to use a huge portion of the money pumped for the ICO, right, to finance the project called EOS. Now, as far as I'm concerned, I'm not being biased this time, right? You might think I'm, bi I'm being biased, but if, if, if you're thinking I'm biased, it's fine. EOS is, has one of the finest and best blockchain technology out there. What Ethereum is trying to achieve, EOS has already achieved it several years ago. But the problem EOS has is that no one knows about what they've built. And the money that was supposed to be used to develop EOS was stolen by the company Block One. Anyway, so that's the news. So the uh, uh, an independent body in the US uh, ecosystem, which is called US Network Foundation, are trying to sue this company to get majority of the funds so they can, you know, pump it back uh, into the project. Moving on, Binance. Remember what I said about uh, bigger exchanges sponsoring major events. Binance invests two hundred million dollars in Forbes to boost consumer knowledge on Bitcoin now. While this is a good news for crypto, it's also a bad news for crypto because it's it brings about centralization because I don't have any issues with Binance, right? I, I, I hope, you know, I could... Anyways, <laughs> I don't have issues with Binance, but Binance own, owns CoinMarketCap. Binance owns CrossWallet. Binance owns the biggest exchange in India. One of the biggest exchanges in India was Rex. Binance owns one of the biggest agencies in exchanges in Nigeria. Binance owns coin market cap, owns trust wallet, owns come on man. It's good because you know they are, they are helping us, you know, bring about crypto education, but also bringing more centralization. But as long as you have you know centralization in the hand of someone that is good, it's good. Oh Binance remains good. Well, how to create ERC token explained. So we have a course on that, you can take that. MakerDAO launches biggest ever bug bounty. So this is a, uh, uh, for programmers. If you know how to uh, do a bug bounty, you can take on that. I saw the I saw the reward and I thought I should announce it on my channel. So uh, so come to the last news that we have for you today. YouTube sees incredible potential in NFT video sales despite backlash threats. So uh, this is YouTube trying to go into nft uh, twitter has already gone into nft so now we're waiting for um youtube facebook instagram and whatsapp moving on last news of the day ontario government freezes millions more in donations to freedom convoy uh, just in case you don't know what this news is all about what freedom convoys are about so you know the whole scamdemic that has been going on so uh people in in canada uh, started protesting and then people were you know, sending them money for donations to sponsor the protest, the peaceful protest, and the government has seized the money. And this is the reason why we invest into crypto or we send donations and payment through crypto because it cannot be seized. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. Please do make sure you subscribe to the channel and like this video, right? You want to learn how to trade? Check the description. You want to learn how to make money through trading every day? Check the description and click the link and join our groups. See ya!